The other day on one of my response videos to a fruitarian that's become very weak, virile, and malnourished and deteriorating at such a rapid rate, a lot of people that commented on this video specifically, which was to do with raw bliss, said you need to make a video on Dr. Robert Morse. If you don't know who Dr. Robert Morse is, he is someone that is known as the fruitarian and raw food movement as one of these teacher cult raw food leaders out there that is very evangelistic, very dogmatic, and very idealistic, and just preaches things like crazy. I can just tell you, sugar is alkaline, not acidic. Acid is what destroys the teeth, not sugar. That attracts a lot of people that are quite extreme in their nature and they listen to his advice to follow things such as extended water fasting, dry fasting, periods of breath, Arianism, eating like fruit only for very, very long periods of time, taking his herbs and doing many things for detoxification. And I wanted to make this warning video about him because when I was on my vegan journey for around six years, which I gave up around 35 days ago, and if you don't know why, I put a link for the video up above and you can check that out, is I've met so many people that have been hardcore Dr. Morse followers, and guess what I have seen time and time again. All I've seen is people decline and go down and down and down and down and down, rather than go down maybe a little bit, break down the body with some detoxification and rebuild themselves up with certain nourishing foods that can actually do that and give them the most optimal hormone production and health holistically within their mind and body. So you see these people have maybe some excess fat, they start doing all the things that he recommends consistently over and over again. And what he's doing is just breaking down the body more and more and more and more and more, where they literally get to the point where they've done it for years, that they end up with almost no muscle mass and no fat whatsoever. And they start to rapidly age and their health goes down majorly. And they just seem to get so brainwashed that even though they're deteriorating so much, they are so blind to the fact that the body's affecting them in a negative way. But guess what? If your teeth are falling out on the things that he recommends, then it's just detox symptoms. Your hair starts falling out, it's detox symptoms. You drop dead, it's just detox symptoms. It's just like they say every symptom that is induced within these people, at least Dr. Moore says, and all of his followers, it's just all detox symptoms. And that is so dangerous and ridiculous because guess what? So many of these signs and symptoms they're getting are very dangerous and could cause irreversible damage to their body in many different ways. And a lot of time it's due to certain essential fatty acid deficiencies such as EPA and DHA, certain mineral deficiencies, vitamin deficiencies, also being too low in amino acids in the body because this is an extremely low fat and low protein diet the super, super high carb, and it's just giving you a lot of sugar. Yes, it's in a naturally occurring form, but guess what? Most fruits out there are so hybridized, and they are far from what they used to be in a natural environment. And I am just fed up of seeing people destroy themselves with what this teacher just gets them to believe, such as Raw Bliss that's been eating fruit for around three years. If you didn't see my video on him, I'll put a link up above. But oh my God, you just look at him and he's like, what are you doing to yourself? You look like you are trying to destroy yourself and you look like you've come from a third world country where you have access to almost no food whatsoever. And I have seen some friends close to me over the years do the same thing. And I won't even say anything to them about what they're doing with this because I know they won't listen to me because I tried with some friends before and they just shut down and they get into this state where they just get very defensive and they don't want to listen to anyone outside of their belief system of all this programming that they've got from Dr. Morse. And it's just sad to see because you just see that they are destroying themselves. Maybe it's some sort of self-sabotage pattern, maybe they have a lack of self-love, but they're just so far down the rabbit hole. And even with people like myself, that are thriving from eating loads of animal foods. You make response videos to these people, they just don't want to listen at all. It reminds me of people that are part of a religious group and they only believe what they've learned from this religion and the people that preach to them left, right and center. And if you try to do anything to challenge their belief system, it's like, nope, 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 I'm not listening, I'm looking this way, I don't wanna hear it, I don't wanna see it. It's like, 
they have a mind that is completely the opposite of like a mind that is open to everything, attached to nothing. And it seems that they let their ego gain control, at least from what I've seen from my own experience when I used to follow this type of stuff and what I've seen from other people. And it's just like ridiculous. Like, look at this man. He is overweight. He has all white hair. He doesn't look healthy whatsoever. And when you watch his videos, he just goes on a, on a tangent about this thing and that thing, but he's meant to be focused upon one thing. So his mind seems all scattered and all over the place. And guess what? I know someone that is one of the people that got taught by him. So they are certified Dr. Morse teacher out there, you could say. And guess what? They are overweight. Their hormones are all messed up. They're asking for me for help. And they had suffer with just looking not very good at all. They look like they're really declining age-wise when you look at their physical appearance. And guess what? All their hair is grey as well. And they're around the same age as me. And being around that person, oh my God, I would just listen to her ramble on about so many things with the raw food diet and how it's the best diet for us and how all cooked food is toxic. And that's what just happens with a lot of these people. They demonize so many foods that are actually good for us. And they just stick on these diets that are very restrictive and limiting, where it's not meeting all of their macro and micronutrient needs. And it's like, oh man. Like once you actually get out of this type of situation like I was in, because I used to be in a similar sort of thing with this brainwashing, you get out the other side and then you realize like, oh my God, I can't believe I got dragged into this car. I wasn't even aware that I was a part of this cult following at all. And then you see the light at the end of the rainbow and you start to look back and be like, what the hell was I thinking? What was I doing? It's just like, oh. Like, so many people are aware that Dr. Morse is very dangerous. And some people believe that he does do some good things, which maybe he does. But what I've seen with people time and time again, like I said, is just massive declining. And a lot of people could either end up in hospital with really breaking down the body so much and having kidney failure like Dylan Hunt that I did an interview with today. And it started to make all of his teeth just break down, all of his gums started to eat itself away. And it was just really horrific what he had to go through. And that is just one example. And it's like, okay, Fasting isn't a bad thing, but a lot of people say the reason why so many vegans failed was due to extreme things such as fruitarianism and fasting. And what I say is fasting isn't inherently bad, but if you're eating a diet that isn't giving you everything that you need, so you're breaking your body down with fasting and then going back to these fruits that aren't giving you everything you need, where is the rebuilding and regenerating phase? Where are all the building blocks? They're not there whatsoever. So then you eat all these deficient fruits and you do that for a while, you're not rebuilding, and then you do more fasting, more detoxification, you break self down a time and time and time and time again. And it's like, seriously, you wonder why you end up like that. But a lot of them say, oh, I'm meant to be skinny. I need to get as skinny as possible to become as clean as possible. <sighs> like, these people make me laugh. But yeah, I do feel sorry for them and I do care about them. I don't like hate on these people whatsoever. But when I see them doing something that's dangerous, and especially when they're on a social media platform and promoting this, and people listen to them, that's when I really don't like it. Because a lot of people will listen to them, follow their advice, and yeah, it's crazy that even people listen to them. Because it's like, when I look at these people, I think, oh man, why do I want to follow what you're doing? But when I think back to it, when I used to eat a fruitarian diet, I used to look at people like Annie Osborne that's been eating fruit for around 23 years. I'll show you some images of her here. And I used to be like, oh, she's done it for this long. So surely I can do it. But now when I look at it, I was like, well, actually she looks really unhealthy in every single way. She may have been on that for so long. But people on a standard American diet for years and years and years. Doesn't mean it's good and doesn't mean that it's a diet you should be following. But yeah, you just start to have this cognitive dissonance where where you even look at your own body and it has certain negative effects going on. You just think it's detox symptoms and you're like, oh, this is meant to be happening. It's all part of the detoxification process. But yeah, if you look at this shield, Dr. Robert Moore, you can see he's in it to make a lot of money because he sells a lot of high price herbs and other products on his website. He also gets a lot of people to get trained by him to become a certified coach, which costs thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And he does so many other things to make money as well. A lot of people are stupid enough 
to follow him. And that's their own fault at the end of the day. If they want to do that, it's up to them. But to be honest, I don't want to see people wasting away in front of me, whether you can see they've just got some orthorexic eating disorder where it looks like they've got anorexia going on. And it's like, oh, man, look at him. He's not thriving. He's all over the show. He's someone that really doesn't know what he's doing. And I don't understand why a lot of people listen to him. It's just like, yeah. But a lot of these people that obviously find him, they're not the most switched on people. And they're not maybe the most mindful and aware people. And they take everything as gospel from him. And no matter how bad of a state they get to, they just believe it for a very long period of time, years and years and years, until a lot of them get to the point where their body completely shuts down or they end up in some other serious state with their body not functioning at all. Then they finally have this wake-up call and be like, oh, screw this, I'm not doing this. And then they switch to things like a carnival diet or a meat-based diet, where it's a paleo diet or ketogenic diet or some other one. And finally, they start to get all of those essential fatty acids and minerals and other nutrients, such as cholesterol and certain amino acids and various other things. And they start to feel alive. Their body starts to rebuild and regenerate because finally they've been getting what they've been lacking for so long, which is meat that is massively demonized by Dr. Robert Moss and his cult following all the other animal foods as well, which is absolutely ridiculous. Because guess what? In our natural environment, in our tribal setting, and all of the civilizations that have ever existed in the world, there's never been any true fruitarian or raw food or vegan civilization out there. We have it animal food for so long, more specifically meat and fish. Millions and millions of years we've evolved to eat it and it's something that we are designed for. We have the ability to break it down but a lot of them will look at this stupid chart that says we are frugivores by design but that is not true whatsoever from the research that I have looked into. And if you want to see the science-based informational educational video on this, I'll put a link for it down below. Once you listen to that, you start to realize that we are designed for many different foods. But it's best for us to actually minimize plant foods because they have so many anti-nutrients in, so many plant toxins that affect people in so many ways, it's beyond belief. So that's it from me in this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me where I'm highly enthusiastic because I'm eating foods that I'm designed for that make me feel alive and vibrant and optimize my cognitive functions, my emotional health, and my mental health as well. And don't forget to click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. And make sure you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, you will not be notified of when there's no new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those meat gains. Peace.